Hi, I'm Andrew, and today I'd like to teach you how to find the molar mass of potassium cyanide. And to do so, I've created a nice little table. Check it out. Bam. So the first thing I'm going to do is write the elements I see. So we got potassium, we got carbon, we got nitrogen. Next is then take into account the number of atoms, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So if you don't see any numbers down there, it is assumed to be a 1. So we got 1 potassium, 1 carbon, 1 nitrogen. Easy peasy. Now we're going to multiply by the mass of each element. Where are these masses found? You guessed it. Periodic table. Mass of potassium is 39.1, carbon is 12.01, nitrogen is 14.01, so we're going to write them on in. All right, so this is 39.10 for potassium, carbon was 12.01, and nitrogen was 14.01. Now to find the total mass of the element in the compound, we're going to simply multiply the row on across. So this is 39, 39.10, total mass for potassium, carbon is 12.01, nitrogen is going to be 14.01. Man, I hope the math in this class works out to be like this all the time. And then we're simply going to write, isn't that what you're thinking? And then we're simply going to add up the entire column here. So this is going to be 65.12. You're probably like, well, actually, what I really was thinking was, why am I even doing this? Yeah, I agree. Since we're solving for molar mass, the units here are in gram per mole. And that's all there is to it. Now you know how to find the molar mass of potassium cyanide. Take care.